Hi everyone, thanks for checking out this lesson of From the Start by Laufey. Um, if you haven't done so already and you would like to see a playthrough, it'll be the previous video I uploaded just before this one. Um, so this song is in standard tuning. It's fairly straightforward. I would probably say that most like late beginners, early intermediates, people can probably play this on guitar. There is only five chords in it. Well, essentially it's it, six verses. It, it follows the same structure the entire way through with just some very small details, and that's all it is, is picking patterns. Okay, so first off, we're gonna be in either C sharp major or D flat major. Uh, I'm, for my reference, I've, I've done this in D flat major. Um, and the chords that we're using, oh, I'm gonna do this at the beginning for a change. We've got an E flat minor nine, which is like this. And what this is, from the fifth fret, we have six, um, fourth string four, third string six, second string six, E flat, a G flat, a D flat, and F. Now that F is what makes it the uh, the minor nine. So an E flat minor nine there, and we go down to an A flat thirteen chord, which from the sixth string is. 4th fret 6th string, we skip a string, 4th fret 4th string, 5th fret 3rd string, and 6th uh, fret 2nd string, sorry, <coughs> excuse my voice, I have a terrible, I'm just getting over a terrible cold, so that we have an A flat, a G flat, a C, and an F, and then we go down to our D flat major, uh, 7, which from the 5th string, it's 4th fret, and then we have the 6th fret on the 4th string, 5th fret on the 3rd string, 6th fret on the 2nd string. Then we have a D flat, A flat, C, and F. Now those are going to be our main chords, right? The E flat 9, A flat 13, and D flat major 7. But we also go up to this F major 7 which is from the 5th string on the 8th fret. So it's going to be 8 on the 5th string, 10 on the 4th string, 8 on the 3rd string, and 9 on the 2nd string. And that's going to be our F, our C, E flat, and A flat. Okay, and then the last chord is going to be our B flat, um, B flat 7 sharp 5. This is from the 6th uh, string, and that's going to be on fret uh, 6, skip a string, fret, uh, string 4, it's fret 6, string 3, fret 7, string 2, fret 7. And this will be our B flat, our A flat, um, our D, and our G flat. So they're all the five chords that we're using. So, you know, if these are your first kind of extended chords that you're coming across, these might be quite a good introduction. You've got some very, you know, this minor 9 chord is... You know, the most common minor nine that is probably the go to major seven chord. Your, uh, your dominant 13 chord is also there. Your, yeah, you know, your seven sharp five chords, these are all really, really good chords, and of course, your minor seven. So, if this is your first time approaching these chords, try and stick at it because you're going to come across these chords a lot. Um, okay, so. Essentially for this song, we're playing just six verses over and over again. Uh, the structure is exactly the same for each verse. The only difference is maybe the first two bars of, the, uh, of each verse either is going to be played like that or so kind of like stabs with the entire chord playing out or kind of that, that bossa nova fingers and thumb kind of pick and pan and that's essentially it so the pattern the pit the the strumming pattern um let's go for the stab ones first um so if i play just the first couple of bars and then i'll uh, we'll, uh, deconstruct it with uh, the timing of each one so okay so Our first two chords we've got E minor 9 and our A flat uh, 13. So the, the timing for this would be this 
One, two, and three, and four, and one and two. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, sorry, one and two. Now we change to the A flat 13 on the end of four in the first bar. One, two, and three, and change, and one, and two. And we let that last chord ring out. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four. All right, that's probably up to speed. Two, and three, and four, and one, and two, three, four, one, two. Right, so then we can get on to the next part, which is generally going to be the, the, the picking pattern for the rest of the time that it isn't these this kind of stops or the stabs. So when we come to this D major, we're actually just going to be playing the, the root note first, and so the D flat um, for a dotted quarter note. So we're going to be changing, from, we're going to be going from this on the end of two to the rest of the chord. So it'd be one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. It can sound, I guess, quite confusing when you're counting out loud to begin with, especially if this is your, if you're quite new to counting out loud and just into counting um, specific beats. Maybe what would help is just to try and remember that we'll cut along to the rhythm. Right, and try and remember that. Um, I guess then what you'd have to do is just work out which ones are the thumbs and which ones are the picking with the fingers. Now in this part, the bass note will always be done with the fingers. So that's going to be beats one, um, three, and three, I guess. Yeah, one and three. One, two, and three, and four, and. Right? One, two, and three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so that's pretty much the the rhythm. Now we just, then what we have to do is just put it to the rest of the um, chord progression. So we then go back, we've got two lots of E minor 9 over A flat, so E minor 9, A flat, and D flat major 7, two lots of that. And I'll, I'll, let me just play it for you. Um, what's going on? The second time, obviously, we're, we've now gone into that picking, the bossa nova kind of picking style. Um, now, for the first beat on the E flat minor nine, I just pick everything with the thumb. One, two, and three, and four, and, and we're still changing on the end of four to the A flat thirteen. So it's one, two, and three, and four, and. that D major at the end there, every now and then, we'll play this chromatic from the bass note 4, so D flat, D to the E flat minor 9. Yeah, so then on the third time round we still have this E flat minor 9, the A flat 13, but this time, instead of going to our D flat major, we're going to go all the way up to this F minor 7. Right, we're just going to play one bar. One, two, and three, and four. And then the end of four, just like we used to change to the A flat 13, we're going to be changing to that B flat 7 sharp 5. Uh, one, two, and three, and four, and. So yeah. One, and two, and three, four. So this will be on the end of four, so and one, and two, and three, four. Yeah. Then we go back to our E minor nine, E flat minor nine, for two bars this time. Down to the A flat 13 for two bars. Um, and then we let the, the second bar kind of ring out. 
let me put all of that together so it makes sense. Now I'm going from the verse, um, the intro is exactly the same essentially as the first line of the verse, so it's, uh, well I'll play it after. Here's verse 1 in its entirety. <laughs> Okay, um, now what's going on here, just a bit of the theory and of the harmony if you would like it, is E minor 9 is the 2 chord in D flat major, A flat 13 is the 5 and the 1, so we're going for that classical, that, that classic jazz um, chord progression, it's just a 2, 5, 1, very very common, used all the time. And when we go after that, when we go up to the F minor 7, this is just the 3 chord, right, so it's still in the tonic family. And that's the 5, the B flat 7, sharp 5, is the 5 of the 2 chord. So that's not actually in the key of C, but we can use it as a turnaround for the 5, for the, for the 2, back to the, the 5 of the C, and then to the 1. So it's all very, very common harmony that's going on. Um, now, I guess the only difference is, as I mentioned earlier, is like maybe the first two bars of each verse every time. It's either going to be the stabs, and then into the bossa nova style, or in verse three, it's not the stab, so it's just straight into like that kind of bossa nova style. So the intro is uses the same chords as the verses. We just have four bars, right? It's the E flat minor nine, A flat thirteen, D flat major seven, and it's just the stabs instead of the bossa nova. So we have that's it. Uh, the ending, the very ending, uh, when we get up to. Uh, when we go through chord progression and get up to the F minor 7, that's the same as usual. But when we get to the D flat 7 sharp 5, we just, uh, instead of playing it all together, we just, you know, let it ring out and play one note at a time. Capitulate it, I guess. And then we can, on there, I think it's the piano that plays it, but you can just. You can play your E flat minor 9, let it ring out, your A flat 13, and your D flat major 7. Um, so as I said, it's super straightforward in terms of the structure. You just repeat the entire thing six times, essentially. Um, okay, so if you uh, if you would like to get the tabs, access to the tabs, please head over to the Patreon um, and subscribe. You'll get the you'll have access to these tabs and all the other transcriptions I've done in the past on the channel uh, and some more that don't have videos. Um, if you like the lesson and you'd like to have, uh, would you like to see more, then please subscribe, um, like, and comment if you have any questions regarding the, regarding the chords or, and the lesson. Um, thank you very much. Take care. See you next time.